That guy is always in there, inside you somewhere, man. The music brings it out of you, but he's always there. That's what trips me out about that American Dream video, dude. Right. The American Dream video was inside me, and it was done with headphones and music. The music that we made that dream video with was playing in my ear, and I just talked about the dream. You know, and that's that's authenticity at its highest level because it's just in there. Nice, dude. Man, you guys are along. So I've got all of the shop drawings signed and returned to you except okay. for a couple. Okay. So I think that bracket, a smaller version of that bracket would look real nice. Yeah, I think it would look real nice. So, you know, and it carries that theme and it's like, yeah, I agree. Kevin, yeah. this is a tongue and groove, so it's a it's a regular sheet. Are you changing this now to a bigger, to a thicker sheet? Yeah. So what it'll be is it'll be a three quarter sheet that tongue tongue and grooves together at 20 and 25, and then we'll put three quarter plywood on top, and now we're inch and a half, like a typical roof deck. And uh, we'll, it'll be pre finished stain. So the only hard part about it is you can't like slap it down and slide it up and stuff like that because it'll it'll scratch it. But other than that, it's just take, it'll be 25 inch, put it on top, nail it down, and then the next piece just, it's tongue and groove, but in a sheet form. And it's a three quarter, and they'll have the stain on the bottom. If I custom order you 15 footers, now we're cutting down on waste. You're not staggering seams all over, so it's ultimately, at the end of the day, less maintenance, and it's easier install. And then you just have two added beams, but what we're gonna save you in the material and no waste pays for those beams. Well, if he's costing me a thousand a day and I can get everything underneath it and it saves me five days, I'm in. Yeah, I, he'll, he'll love it because he's just gonna be like, bink, and it's all one length and the seams are all covered. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to be perfect. And, and it's literally the, the hardest part of the job then is snapping the line and cutting off the lights and the fan. So you're talking about running a beam here? Just at these two columns. So you can break this up into three sections, you know, and then you put your ceiling fans in the middle of each. You know, the way I look at it, because when you're running seams and stuff, it is more work. You'll be in 22 to 24 on every wall. So you'll only have a little bit of waste. All right? Questions? I'm, good? I, I think, think I'm even. good. It went really well. We got a lot of information. There was a lot of little loose ends that needed to be covered and we ironed out a lot of kinks. I don't get to do this because it's hard to go to so many different jobs, you know? But when I do, I realize that there's such value in that communication part of the process, you know? So I feel bad that I don't get to go to every job. We're building homes in Charleston, Asheville, New York. Having these one-on-one -on -one conversations with the installer and talking about process and shortcuts, it's huge. You did a nice job here, bro. It looks good, man. Yeah, that's pretty nice. We'll make it a win, bro. Yeah, that looks good, dude. Real good.